So I've got world anchors working. Um, I have a couple of small items floating around in our office. Which once we get past the loading should work. Right, so up over here we've got a big present which I can click and move around. It's stuck to the walls at the moment. Uh, I'd like to be able to get the dragging moving like I did on my other experiment. But I can lock that into a wall as such. I come back and pick it up and move it again anytime I like to anywhere. The occlusion's mostly working. <laughs> sort of. Right, over here I've got another object which I can't move. And this is keyword unlock. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> which now allows me to click and drag. And place again anywhere inside. Obviously the mesh over there is a whole lot better than it is in this part of the room. Uh, pop it up on the wall there. And again we should have, mostly have the occlusion working. Ooh, shaking. So I can now pick that up and move it closer. Uh, and now when I'm finished with it I say lock. And it's not going to. Lock. Now it won't move. And then if we restart the app it'll be exactly where I left it in theory. Unlock. So this allows us to place items and have them persist but be <laughs> reasonably unusable. Lock. So we can put another tap in there somewhere. Uh, tap event. Um, like our collection. Oops. It's disappeared, that's interesting. Oh, it'll give us the opportunity to start this back up and see the persistence in the world anchor. Right. This is our gift right where we left it. And down here is our sphere right where we left it. And when it starts, it's uh, locked into the world so nobody can do anything with it. Um, so as I was saying before, if we tie up a script that allows us to add that to the inventory or what have you, that totally solves our collection throughout the maze. Unlock. Lock. Perfect.